Well, a lot of people this week might be starting to holiday shop. Maybe you've already started, but if you haven't, we're going to share with you a few ways to make a positive impact while you're shopping. Oh, I love this. I know. It's kind of fun. It's this is like different. an it's all it's good and a things to care about. It's really good. So it's just some reminders, uh, you know, for especially if you're going out on Friday. But um, the first one is if you have a book lover on your list, shop indie bookstores. I love this reminder because, you know, I think sometimes out of convenience, we shop at maybe a big box store or online, but the indie bookstores really struggled during the pandemic. They need us now more than ever. So please do that. Some resources are, um, there's this thing called uh, BLG Green Bookshop Online, and you can go there and buy somebody else a book and get yourself a book, and it's sourced all from indie uh, booksellers. I love the that. The other things are um, buy a toy that doesn't cost planet Earth. So look for things that aren't plastic, things that are made out of wood, things that are made out of conscious cotton, I will call it. Also, yeah. when you're sh clothing shopping, you know, I did a light Google search for Atlanta, like um, clothes that are made ethically. So many stores yes. that you can support, even some like big ones that you've heard of, but also some local stores. Um, and then they also say, of course, just buy local, think about ethical tech practices, you know, just do a little research before you go if you have time and make yourself feel better yeah. when you're buying gifts. Yes, you know, um, you know, one of Caroline's friends lives in Virginia Highlands, which I love that area, Yeah, and their bookstore there is so awesome. I popped in and they had sure. ended up buying like some cute little kitschy gifts for one of the girl's friends, and the, so yeah. just huge and They and always have such interesting things, and more often than not, I will tell you, if you seek out a indie bookstore, especially during the holidays, an author or two will be lurking yes. in the bookshelf. You get a little... Not lurking, that sounded terrible, yeah. but like <laughs> talking. And, what, and wanting to chat with you about other books that they enjoy. It's so always true. Uh, so rewarding to do that. Oh my gosh, also, there was this, uh, I've never even heard of this, but there's a go like a search engine like Google. It's called Ecosia, E-C-O-S, Eco, right in the name, S-I-A. If you switch your browser to Ecosia, it has 80% of the ads on that are all like eco-friendly <gasps> for the earth. They plant a tree every time Whoa. you use it. If you switch it, it actually has underneath it, like it's something like a million trees have been planted for people who have been using that search engine. It's E-C-O-S-I-A. Ecosia. Ecosia. Yeah. Why I'm wouldn't we? Why wouldn't I don't we? know. I don't know. Look but out, do it. Google. Ecosia's in town. Yes. It really well. Okay. This 